It's market update time. We're gonna have a look at all the indexes in this video. Let's see what the market is trying to tell us. Let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. Alrighty, I've done my done my gym challenge, the, went to the gym, I did my five minutes of saying thank you, I did my five minutes of gratification. I'm doing another video saying thank you for you being subscribing. If you like this video, share, comment, like, all that sort of good stuff. Show me the love. Alright, so moving on. <laughs> <laughs> um, moving on, let's actually have a look at what the market has actually is actually doing right now when it comes to when it comes to the indexes. Let's actually start with and all right. Do, 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 do. That goes up through there. So pretty much a nothing day in the markets. Of course we knew that the Fed was gonna do nothing. They, the Fed, I think the Fed came out and said, you know what, everything's really, really, really good. There's no stresses, there's no alerts, there's nothing nothing wrong with the economy, but we still can't raise the interest rates. I wonder why. They're, they're, they either can't afford to pay what they already owe, or they know they're going to print more. What do you think it is? Let me know. So, <laughs> so pretty much a nothing day in the markets today. A bit of a doji day on, on the Dow Jones. It didn't really move much. It's been, as soon as I got to my projection target up here, as you can see when it broke here, my projection target was that this level, this line up here, as you can see, this that's the reason why I had that line there. It hit it now, and now it's actually hit it now on the head, and now it's actually backing off a little bit. So, not really sure what that's all about, but we'll be able to see what's going on there. Same for the S&P. I actually think the S&P may get a rise soon like may get like another another move to the high side so it's very 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 difficult to see what's going on here because we have this resistance through here it's like it's like which one breaks first which what which area breaks first does this area break up here if that breaks then we're racing towards the, the we're gonna we're, we're probably gonna hit the 2000 and probably very close to the 200 mark or do we actually break these lows first? Which ones do we break? If we break these lows here, if we break these lows here, we're probably going to run back down towards the 2,130 mark, and then who will they take it take it from there? If it does break above this level here, basically the 2,180, then we have a good 20 point rise to this high side, which is this target through here. So that whole target is this whole channel target. So I actually think the market may get a bit more upside from here. It doesn't really look like much is actually going on for that there. Um, so, but again, you just gotta wait for the breakout. Wherever the breakout is, it's probably gonna follow through there from um, probably a couple of days from there. Moving on to the Russell. The Russell had a small little update, almost, almost, almost got to uh, the next resistance level, which is this resistance level up here, one, two, two. This is obviously on the Russell, the mini Russell here. And the NASDAQ, look what the NASDAQ did. The NASDAQ went straight to, if you've been watching my last couple of videos, I said that my first target for the NASDAQ was 5,460, 5,146. And you can see it actually got there today. And isn't it interesting, if you go back to my yesterday's video, I had that trend line there and it gapped up and then just sort of just went from there. So very interesting to see that we actually got to my first target and then we then we rejected it off. So it's like, and, and it does look like, but this volume here, there's a couple of volume, there's actually getting increasing volume through here. So is this the start of a blast off to the upside and continue running up? If it does break above this 5,120, then it looks like 5,200 mark is likely to be hit pretty, pretty, pretty quickly, which is like another, what is that, like another one or two percent to the high side. Now, the interesting thing is that my ultimate target for the, the, the more, more aggressive target, the conservative target was 5,146. The aggressive target is 5,200. The interesting thing about that is that's the all time high. My projection, which actually just basically came off this channel, my projection is the exact all time high. Man, and that looks like it might be, 
there's lots of volume coming in right now too, guys. So we we may, especially on the Nasdaq, we may actually be see we actually may see a lot more upside from here. This may just continue up. I don't know how long they can last that for, but um, when the market does start to crack and we're starting to get this sort of channel here, let me show you what I'm. Ay 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 ay. Easy. So <laughs> we're starting to get some sort of a channel through here. So that channel there. And we're starting to get this sort of channel through there. So that sort of channel is happening. And so as soon as we start to break out of this channel, mark my words, guys, as soon as you start to break out of the channel, that's when we're going to get start start to get a, a decent pullback and probably back down towards this, this support level here. So, and you can see where it is right now. So, but it may not, it may just break up and continue back up through here. So if we are going to get a decent pullback, I want to see a break of this bottom channel first. Let me have a look here. A bottom, a break of this bottom channel first, and then we're likely to see probably a good, you know, two to three percent drop to the downside towards this area of support, and then obviously we'll take it, take it obviously from there. So, uh, looks like this, looks like this market. If there's no, if there's nothing that comes out of this market, looks like the market may want to continue to push this higher because we're just stair stepping higher, stair stepping higher. Now looking at the. Uh, that's the SPY, obviously, that's QQQ. Uh, looking at the VIX, guys, the VIX has continued to stay around where it is right now. So I'm actually really, 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 and really liking this setup. Liking this setup because we're getting both of these, both of my stochastics happening right now. So, and we're actually going through here. And the interesting thing is, guys, let, 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 let me show you something pretty cool. If I go, if I go back to... Actually, let me just squeeze my chart up and I'll show you something pretty cool. Let me just squeeze up my, my indicators because we don't really need to worry about my... You know what? Let's actually do this. Let me... Instead of mucking that up, let's actually go to this one here. And I want to share something with you. Let, let me share this with you. I want to share something with you. Look at this. Look at this chart here. This is obviously the weekly chart. Uh, can I go to daily chart? All right, yeah. So let's have a look at this here. Let's have a look at the last couple of years. It's really, really, really interesting to see what is actually going on here with the VIX. Now, some people are saying, John, you're nuts for sh for going long on the VIX because the the, the the you know the commercials are short in the VIX. The commercials are short in gold and silver too, and they spiked. Silver's up about four percent today, or something like that. Get that in there. Um, <laughs> so. Let's have a look at this. Uh, let's have a look at this here. Back last year, what happened with the VIX? Well, the VIX had some spiking action going from here. Look at this here. Late 2014, we got back up to the 26 level, quite you know, quite a fair bit, and back up, back up above the 30 level as well too. So you can see what's actually happened there, right? The, the market runs up and then comes back down, and you can see it actually came back down, and we went sideways through this sideways sort of channel through here from around March through to the end of June. And then it was July, this this was the July spike, and then it came back into July. August came around, and in the middle of August, we had this spiking action. Now, let's go have a look at what we're seeing right now. This here was March. But March, a little bit after March, we actually went sideways, very, 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 very similar to over here, went sideways until the until the until basically the start of June, this was. So this was to the end of June, this was the start of June, and then guess what? We got a spike. And now we're actually coming back down again, and we're just going sideways into August. And look at this here, this is the exact same thing, right? It had a spike in the June, July. So the end of June into July, this was actually June, but it spiked up, came back down, and now it's actually just going sideways. Guys, this looks exactly, this looks exactly like if I just, let me see if I can bring up a green, and make that not so thick. You can see, guys, this channel here is this channel here last year. And then this spike was this spike here. So you can see spike, spike. And now we're just going sideways. And now we went sideways before a big spike. And now we're going sideways again. Do we get another big spike? Well, no one really knows. Uh, but if we do get that sort of spike again, I'm going to be very happy camper. Uh, <laughs> So let's just see how it goes, guys. So that, that's a bit of analysis that I saw. Very, very, very similar. We, we, the overall thing that I wanted to share with you guys uh, with this VIX is that we actually had a lot of sideways action and then a spike and then sideways action into August and then a big spike. 
We had a lot of sideways action, spike into June, July, and now we've gone sideways into August. What comes next? Maybe another spike. Let's actually see. If your history repeats itself, um, maybe even a bigger spike than this one here. Um, you know, because that, that, that was just a flash crash. So anyway, who knows, guys? I'm not calling for a crash. I'm not calling for anything like that. Right now, I actually think short term that the market looks like it wants to go higher. That's what the short term says anyway. So anyway, guys, remember success can be yours if you go clamp. So step up, take massive action and face your fears today. I'm not going to BS you here. Trading is hard. Over my 10 years of trading, I've learned some amazing systems and strategies, and I've put it all in my brand new Grab the Markets by the Balls course, and I'm giving you 100% free access. This whole course is 12 videos long and almost 10 hours of the best systems and strategies that I know. Click on the image below now to get 100% free access right now.